let's talk about movement. Right here, you're seeing a character normally dash back to avoid being punished. However, for about a frame or two, maybe three, they're still open for a dash, kick, punch, or beast attack. So, how do we prevent ourselves from being punished? By pressing guard before the animation finishes. It's that simple. Once you get the hang of the proper timing, you can do this to avoid the opponent faster, creating a good gap between you and the other player. This is called a dash cancel and you can only do it on foot. However, we're not done. You see, Bloody Roar may play like a 2D fighter, but there is a 3D element for the series, sidestepping. Now, depending on your preference, sidestepping may be either pointless or vital for your play. Having the walls on minimum means that if you transform near a wall, if you're thrown by a command grab, kicked, or punched to the wall, it's going to break, leaving that part of the wall open for you or your opponent to get rung out on. Neither of you want that, so to avoid it, you sidestep to a different part of the stage that doesn't have a broken wall. Though it is important to note that you are vulnerable when you sidestep, and stages such as the Aquarium and Chinese Temple have another area to fight in after a certain wall has been broken. These other areas may have walls, they may not. Having the walls on final makes the walls unbreakable until the last round is over, like getting kicked or punched out of the wall. Essentially, you're free to juggle your opponent to oblivion unless they air recover at the right frame. Speaking of air recovering, you do it by pressing the guard button while in the air, however, you're not limited to doing it in place of where you are in the air. You can do it in four directions total, up, down, left, or right. It ultimately depends on where you are as you're in the air, because you could be above your opponent after getting knocked into the air, but if you want to go behind them, you have to press guard and right or left at the same time. But note that if you're twirling, air recovering is impossible, but a workaround to get out of it is to hyper beast out of a twirl, so a comeback is definitely possible within a match. Another mechanic that I need to preface is evading. Evading is pressing guard at the same time as your opponent is attacking you, and yes, this does include strings. You can evade everything except grabs. While simple, it is not easy to master because if you have no idea of how certain characters' timing is on their moves, you're gonna get punished a lot. So it's definitely not easy, but once you get the right timing down for certain characters, if not all of them, you will be able to punish immediately afterwards. Though beware that it is risky, because after you evade, you won't know if your opponent will pull out a beast drive or hit you with a low, a mid, a high, a high mid, a low mid after a string, or just straight up grab you. So. I would recommend not evading everything to be stylish and to instead discipline or limit yourself to how much you want to evade but know exactly when to attack. On one hand, you're not getting hit, but on the other, you don't know what your opponent will throw at you afterwards, leaving you in a literal mix-up. I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace.